Hi guys, I'm back. And today, sorry for the wobbly, I've got my camera on strings just so I can get it lower down so you guys can see what I'm doing. As you can see, I've got two little pendants here. Um, these are going to be best friend forever pendants for my little Ella Bella, who is turning 10, and her very best friend, Alyssa, who is also turning 10. They were actually born five days apart um, in the same hospital, so it's only fitting that today they are best friends. Um, Alyssa is... Hi, Alyssa! Um, Alyssa is just one of the sweetest, most wonderful little kids, and it's really amazing how similar Alyssa and Ella are. Look at that. Um, I'll get back to that in a second. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they're just, they're wonderful little kids and they're, they're best friends. So this is going to be, um, birthday present for the two of them. Um, I am going to attempt a galaxy inside these tiny little pendants. What I've already done is spray painted them. Um, I taped off the edges, um, which took a while. It was hard to do. Um. And then I took them outside, spray painted them with Rust-Oleum paints, um, black, harbor blue, satin magenta, and satin lagoon. And I'm just going to use that as my hold up everything. And I, uh, for the colors, I've got Artist Loft Thalo Blue mixed into the resin, and then Artist Loft Light Blue, Artist Loft Light Magenta, and then this is the Light Magenta mixed with the base coat, the stone coat base coat. White base tint. Um, Y'all can see that, I hope. Yeah. And then, of course, we are going to use the stone coat resin. So, you guys, go order some of this stuff if you haven't already. This is amazing resin. The work time on it is really long. It's about 45 minutes to an hour. And uh, it mixes beautifully with paints and alcohol inks and whatever else you want to put into it, I think. Um, as you can see, I've been using it for a little while now and I really, really love it. It's a, a beautiful, very clear finish, very shiny. Uh, let me show you a tile that I did a while back. Um, I don't know if you can see this real well, but and it's kind of dirty because it's been sitting on the kitchen table, but um, just a beautiful, beautiful finish to that. Um, and the temperature resistant is like 475 degrees, I believe. So you can take something right out of the oven, put it on your tile, your trivet, and uh, it will be completely okay. Back to the pendants. Um, like I said, use the Stone Coat promo code. My promo code is HWA. You get $30 off of an $80 order. Uh, okay, so let's get on with this because I started a while ago. I was going to use alcohol inks and then it just wasn't quite working out. So <laughs> I switched over to paint. So I've got to kind of get this going. What I'm going to do is use toothpicks to drip the color into these tiny little, tiny itty bitty little, um, pendants because if I used the popsicle stick, uh, it would not, it would not be pretty. It would just cover the whole thing because, you know, that's a lot of alcohol ink. So I'm just restirring those. Um, I think some of the color is sort of dripped back down off the side and needs a good mixing. It's already getting kind of sticky, so I want to I want to move this along because, like I said, I did this. I think it's been sitting here for at least, oh, almost half an hour now, so that's why it's getting kind of sticky. Plus, it's kind of chilly in my living room. I mean in my kitchen, sorry. It's um, I think it got down to like 20 or 22 degrees Fahrenheit last night. Uh, that is super cold. <laughs> if you guys, guys, uh, you know, I'm not sure what that would be in Celsius. Probably like um, a negative number because 32 degrees Fahrenheit equals zero degrees Celsius. So if it was like 22 last night, then it's going to be like really freaking cold. The ice, the water in the uh, driveway froze, so 
All right, so let's get on with this. Make sure you guys can see these little pendants that I'm going to do. Um, first, I've got to put some resin in the bottom of them. Not too much because I will be adding a touch more as I'm going along. So I don't want them to overflow. And I really don't want it going over the sides of the little pendant. So I want them to be perfect. I'm a little stressed about this because I want them to be pretty. And I've never done a galaxy this tiny before. So as y'all are watching, keep your fingers crossed. heat this up in a minute and it'll spread out a little better like I said my kitchen's cold it's been resin has actually been sitting here for about half an hour so it's ready to be done I do not want to get my fingers in it and it's okay if it if it's not um, all the way to the top because you know how you kind of want that sort of bubble effect on your resin I can always go back and do a, a second coat of just clear resin on top I'd rather have to do that than it sort of overflow right, there's that one and I see that my I forgot that my table is crooked I don't know why I forget this because it's always been crooked We need to set something underneath that half of the that half over there so that uh, the um, all the resin doesn't go that way. Uh, let's see. I don't want to put something too thick under there because then it'll just come back this way. Sorry guys, I'm looking for something to put under the table put into this cardboard thing it's not going to be too thick because I don't want it to I think that should be that should be okay all right so let's um <laughs> let's do this <laughs> oh this is nerve-wracking All right, so I'm going to put down some white first. Like I said, I just want a teeny tiny bit. I don't want it to take over. I think I need to heat up my little resins. be quiet. You're not going out right now. Sorry. Sorry, bud. I don't really. This is all just sort of going willy-nilly. don't really have a plan for it. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's going to be too much. I don't want too much in there. The reason I'm doing it in these pinks and blues is because pink and blue, I think, is uh, Alyssa's favorite color. So. Hopefully, she will like these colors. Let's torch that and see what happens. Oh, look at that white. 
Woo! Cool. The blues didn't really do much of anything, but the white, just like, that's the the base, the white base tint from Stone Coat Countertop, and look what it does. Very cool. All right, we need to put a little hint of black in there, just for contrast. Now, the black is not an Arsloff color. It is the Jet Black from Apple Barrel. I couldn't find my Arsloft, so I just decided we'll um, use the black from Apple Barrel. That white is bothering me because it's going everywhere, but hopefully we can fix that. Um, I noticed that like if you put some clear resin down where you want the other resin to move, like if that white, I could put some clear down there and it would kind of push it off to the side. Let's see if I can show you. Here, I'll try this in this corner here. Sorry, my hand is kind of... Let's see how it kind of pushes it out of the way. So make sure you have some leftover resin, um, clear stuff, so you can kind of move things around if you want. I can't believe that white just went everywhere like that. Only much of my <laughs> much of the back is gonna show up, but oh well. If a hint of that um, glitter will show through, that would be good. Oops. Don't stretch your resin across the. Oh, I'm sorry if my head's in the way. Sorry. Hopefully it's not. All right, you guys can still see those. They're so tiny. I'm sorry, but I got resin on my fingertips and it's sticking big time. That white has just taken over on that one. I'm not happy about that at all. I don't know why I did it there and it didn't do it there, but it did, so. I'm afraid to put the, oh, maybe it's because I used this pink and it has the white base tint in it. I don't know, but that's okay. Let's see what we can get this stuff to do. Just trying to make sure I still it's not like gonna go over the side there. This one just has too much white in it, but that's okay. Maybe we can push some of it aside with some of the other resin. That one needs maybe a touch of black. It's getting too white. Ah. Alright. I'm not sure why this is sticking so bad. I'm going to take the glove off because my fingertips are sticking. Let's try that again. This is more of a swirly galaxy than anything, but... It, it should still be kind of cool, I think. And we still have room to add some uh, some more clear resin to it. So maybe if I add the clear resin in certain areas, it'll help out.
Well, I kind of lost most of the, the glitter underneath. I kind of want to put some glitter over it and then maybe go back and put the clear resin on top. I'm kind of liking them. Except this one, I feel like needs a hint more of this thalo blue because I, I kind of lost it. I don't want to do too much. I don't really know where to put it. I'll just put it up here in this top corner. It'll come off. And it just sank. Okay. I'm thinking that's probably about enough. I need to leave it. So I don't mess it up any further. I do kind of want to put some, uh, some glitter on there. I'm trying to decide because you know it needs a little bit of glitter. Girls like glitter, right? Especially little girls, they love glitter. So I'm gonna try and put a hint of glitter on there without disturbing. <laughs> disturbing it. I just touched a little bit to my finger. I just touched my finger in a little bit, and I'm just sort of you know tapping it on there. Okay, that's plenty of that blue. You don't want to... Alright, now I'm going to brush my hands off. My pants will be covered in glitter. Now for the pink. Just a little bit of touch in there. Okay. I think that's enough glitter. I don't want to overdo it. Now, I'm trying to decide whether I want to go ahead and put more resin on top of that or if it's going to disturb the pattern. Because I really don't want it to disturb that beautiful pattern we've got going on here. Yeah, there's just glitter on the outside edge there. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm trying to decide if that's just glitter on the outside or if it's resin. No, I think it's just glitter. Okay. Yeah, and it's moving around because I picked it up, obviously. But I don't think it's quite even. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to let this sit and cure a little bit. And then maybe later on come back and fill in, once it's set, um, fill in the top so it's a nice, beautiful, clear finish to it. Because I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, mess these up. So, I'm going to run the torch over it one more time, just for air bubbles sake. and get you guys down so you can see a little close-up. Okay, so you can kind of see that obviously I have not filled it in completely. We will come back and do that, but you can see the glitter sitting on top of everything. But hopefully not too much so that it kind of disturbs the, the pattern a little bit. Okay. I will bring y'all back after um, I have poured the second coat on there and it has cured so you can see the final product because it's going to keep moving it always does luckily it's contained so it can't move too far <laughs> all right I'll be back in a minute hi guys we're back with the pendants and I have put a another coat of resin on there and uh, let's see as you can see it's kind of domed um, and I got really super lucky it did not go over the edges 
So there's the back of it. And I put an O-ring on there and a satin cord with the little findings that you would, um, you know, you, these are like crimp findings. You just sort of mush down the sides over it really good with some pliers and then added um, another O-ring and then a big lobster claw clasp just because these are for 10 year olds. So I want to make it easy for them to, um, easy for them to put it on and off. Um, so there is a close up of it. Let's see if I can get back in focus. Come on. There we go. And I put five little stars in there because they've been best friends for five years. Um, you can't hardly see them anymore. I don't know what happened to them. <laughs> there's um, two down here and three up here somewhere. Uh, if you take it outside, you can. there's one of them you can kind of see. And then you can kind of see that one at the bottom. Um, let's see if we can get that in focus a little better. But um, as you can see, you can see the glitter in there. These are our little um, galaxy pendants. Wipe my fingerprints off of it there. Okay. This one I think is a little more, it looks a little more like a galaxy. There's a little more depth in it because you can kind of see the black in there. Um, yeah, that's <laughs> pretty much it. Um, same thing with these. I put the little O-ring at the top. That's the back of them. And then, of course, the findings on there. Um, really simple to do. So, that is our galaxy pendants for two little 10 year olds who are not little anymore. They're big girls. Um, so, I want to say happy birthday to Alyssa and Ella. Um, they were born uh, five days apart in the same hospital on the same floor. So they were meant to be best friends, I think. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, Alyssa and Ella, I hope you enjoy your birthday presents. I love you both very much. All right. Um, before I go, I want to show you something real quick that I was working on. Um, I didn't want to do it on video because <laughs> um, it was a little stressful to do these because they were a commission piece um, and uh, let's see if we can get you in focus come on focus there we go um, these were commission pieces for someone for Christmas so I didn't want to do a video on them because I was a little stressed out and trying to get these just right for the for the um, <laughs> client um, basically what they are is just tree ring pours and then you know poured off the edges and you know just fussed with and fussed with this is probably like the 10th version of each of the tiles. Um, I did them over and over again. The colors are supposed to be, these are Georgia Bulldog colors, um, University of Georgia, red and black. Um, those are the two official colors of University of Georgia. That's why there's not another color in there. I normally would never do just two colors <laughs> because they're not all that interesting. You know, I think the more colors you have, the more interesting it can be. But still, this one kind of turned out cool. Um, I think it kind of looks like a little spider inside of a spider web. Um, and then this one here is supposed to be the colors of the school of the person who is receiving uh, this gift. Um, and it's a, a really interesting sort of gold yellow color, which you see here, and then black. Um, and let's see if I can get you a close up. See if you can kind of see. There's a little bit of gold in there. Sorry, I'm shaking. Um, as sort of a third color, if you will. I don't know if you can see it really, really well. There's a lot of fingerprints on there. But as you can see, the resin coating is quite shiny. The pattern's kind of cool, I think. And then I just finished them with black felt on the back. And they will be sitting in little easels. Just one of these little wooden easels. And it will be sitting... Let's see if I can. No, I can't set that down. Okay, it'll be sitting like that on the table. Um, yeah, so, um, you know, I call these desk art. I have some of these on my website. Um, but the ones I have on my website <laughs> um, are a lot prettier. So take a look at the ones on my website. I'll put the link below 
um, if I remember. I'm sorry, I've been really bad about that. But I'll put the link below of my website, and you guys can look at these. I call them desk art or small works of art because I think they'd be perfect for setting on the corner of a desk where you don't have much room or putting up in the corner of like a uh, a bookshelf, you know, in front of a few books that you may or may not look at too often, um, just to sort of decorate the room if you don't have a lot of space. Um, I love these. I only have a couple more of this shape tile. Um, these are recycled tiles, actually, and I had to clean them up really well and file off the, um, because they have these little spacers on the edges, so I had to file those off mm, with a grinder. <laughs> So a lot of work kind of went into these little bitty tiles, even though they look really simple. But I think they, they turned out cool. And I hope that the, um, the client, um, for lack of a better word at this moment, will, uh, will, will like these. And, um, you know, just give you a little idea of, you know, other things that you can do. Buy these little easels. They come from, um, I got these at Michael's. And uh, if you use a coupon, you get them for just a couple bucks in a pack of four. All right, well, one more last look at our pretty little pendants because they're a lot prettier than the um, tiles there, at least in my opinion. All right, well, there's your pretty for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm sorry it was wiggling a little bit. I have the phone hanging from strings at the moment. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I want to say thank you to all my subscribers and all my viewers, all the new people who have joined us here on the channel. Um, and your comments lately are have been absolutely wonderful, uh, especially on those last few pours. They really did turn out pretty awesome, so I'm pretty psyched about those. I'm glad you guys liked them. I will try to do more like that. Um, yeah, because I got such a great response from them. So um, everything I do is for sale. So, you know, just uh, send me an email. Um, my email will also be in the link below. So, um, yeah. I hope you guys are all having wonderful Christmas holidays or whatever holiday you're celebrating at the moment. And um, I love you all. <sighs> Wherever you are on the planet, I hope you're having an awesome afternoon, day, evening, or night. See you later. Bye.